What is going on everybody, welcome back to the City of Z, once again I will be your tour guide today and I hope you enjoy your stay and today I wanted to talk about something that I actually briefly introduced before Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies was released and I wanted to make a follow up and to determine how relevant it will be on their eyes and drop the first DLC for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies so if you guys do enjoy make sure to smash that like button, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section and subscribe so you don't miss future Black Ops 3 Zombies news and information. So anyway, we know a lot about Der Eisendrack, and we also know very little, and what I mean by that is it's kind of unclear, and that's a very ambiguous statement, so I kind of retract that, but anyway, regardless of that, what do we know about the Easter Egg in Der Eisendrack? Well, we know that ritual-like things will be back, the Apothecans are most likely going to be playing some sort of role, rather Richtofen is going to be using the summoning key, the most powerful artifact in the world to fight the Apothecans, that's still unclear, that's one prominent theory, and it doesn't really matter what the end goal of the Easter Egg is for this video, we'll save that for another one. Today we're talking about a key element in storytelling that we could see and I th certainly think we will see in their eyes and drugs. So I talked about this a long time ago. Cutscenes. The increased relevancy of cutscenes in Call of Duty, in Black Ops 3 in particular. So I talked about this briefly. I touched on how over the past few Call of Duties, through Advanced Warfare and Ghosts, not really Ghosts, who cares about Ghosts, but through Advanced Warfare and Exo Zombies, the story was really dictated by the cutscenes. There was no real hidden lore like there is in Treyarch Zombies, so that's the big difference. However, I think that telling stories via cutscenes is a very effective way to get points across, get key things, and it's just pretty freaking badass. The cutscenes that Treyarch makes are phenomenal. The, phenomenal. the intro to the giant was phenomenal. I can almost guarantee we'll have an intro to Dare Eisendrak, something about them teleporting in, something about them being there. However, Shadows of Evil also, you know, had the intro cutscene, but meh. The outro, was, it, that was really interesting. That's where the storyline information lied. Now, I really like the idea of intermixing cutscenes into the gameplay, not just being an ending cutscene and ending the game totally, but how Shadows of Evil approached it. We got the cutscene, and then we can continue to play. And if you look at the current Zombies team, the ones that have been working on Origins and now Shadows of Evil and the Giant, we, and Mob of the Dead, can't forget Mob of the Dead, we've seen them utilize these cutscenes, and Origins in particular, we got this massive cliffhanger with the ending cutscene. That was huge. Now, that was a game-ending one, but they are showing that they are more willing to explain things, give hints, storyline teasers, through cutscenes. So I think that cutscenes are definitely going to play a large role. I would love for them to have several different cutscenes that you can unlock through a massive freaking easter egg. Perhaps one step you get a little bit of a cutscene, but then you have to go back into the game, use information that you gather from that cutscene, and implement that into your, you know, theorizing about how to continue with the easter egg. I think that would be a phenomenal way to explore easter eggs in the future, and I think that Jason Blundell and his team are in an excellent position to do so, and they are very creative, and, and I'm sure we'll like no matter what they do, but I really would like to see some more cutscenes explaining the story. Not like directly, but like giving us even more cryptic information through cutscenes is what I mean. I think that would be pretty interesting, entertaining, and all of the above. I want to know what you guys have to think. I think regardless, my theory is that we're going to be having, you know, at least an intro, probably some sort of outro cutscene that would be, you know, following the pattern that has been established. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you didn't, like I said, please make sure to leave a rating, leave a comment, make sure I want to know your thoughts, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.